In the early 1960s, the federal government needed a pretext to invade Cuba. The Pentagon had an operation called Operation Northwoods, and it was on the table that our military would attack certain cities within the United States and make it look like Cuba did it to justify an invasion of Cuba. And the idea was to have U.S. personnel from the CIA and other places secretly create terrorism in the United States. The documents actually said people would be shot on American streets, bombs would be blown up. And again, all this, the evidence would be uh, laid to point the finger at Castro. The federal government proposed blowing up airliners full of Americans, saying the casualty list in U.S. newspapers would cause a helpful wave of indignation. They had a very complex plan where they were going to take an aircraft and load it with CIA people that look like college students, have a takeoff from an airport in Miami with a lot of publicity, and then it would quickly, after it got into the air, land at a secret uh, CIA base. At that same time, an identical plane would take off from that CIA base, except this plane would be empty and uh, it'd be remotely piloted from the ground. Uh, it was a drone plane that would be very similar to the passenger plane that had just taken off. Except we want to hijack jets by remote control, crash them, and blame it on the Soviet Union and Cuba. Now, that, that was decades ago. If they would do it in the 60s, they'll do it again. It never got put into effect, but the fact that you can get all the members of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, the senior military officials in the U.S. government, signing off on a plan that outrageous. It was extraordinary. In the plan, they elaborated on how they could bomb Washington, D.C. and blame it on Cuba. Attack Marines at Guantanamo Bay using U.S. Army soldiers dressed up as Cubans. Or, they said just like the sinking of the Maine to get into the Spanish-American War, we could blow up a ship again. Here they are admitting the problem reaction solution system and how effective it is to motivate the American people to get them behind a war.